Some of the best advice that we can give you when starting any project is try to source those materials for free. We personally check Facebook Marketplace, Rob checks it every day, and we're always on the hunt for things for free. This wood next to me here, we saw last night a local church had just redone their deck and they had a pile of pressure treated um, decking that they had taken up and they were giving it away for free. And so first thing this morning, Rob got up with Moose and went and picked it up. And now we have the beginnings of our new farm stand. But all of this that it took was the time and energy to pick it up. And then we're gonna have to take out bolts, screws and nails, things like that. But this will not get wasted. It won't get burned. It's going to get reused. And that. So I just want to say that the biggest change for me when adapting to this lifestyle of upcycling and trying to source all of our materials for free, the hardest part was getting used to the work. <laughs> the physical, for me, I've never been one to work out, never been one to, I always joke that I had no upper body strength, but when it comes to working a job, to earn the money, to pay for those things, or I could get those things for free and just have to do more work. The amount of time and energy it took to earn the money to buy the wood firsthand or brand new, it's not worth it. And so the work that we started and the physical labor, I actually started finding enjoyment from because me doing this provided for my family. Just picking up things for free. Or it's so much simpler than we make it out to be. It's just a choice. A choice on where you want to put your energy and your time and your resources. The idea for the farm stand came because we needed a place with a better roof to keep all the veggies in this year. And these boards were all from the free deck. The windows were all ones Rob has picked up over the years. And together with free materials we got. So 
What are you doing? Well, since we repurpose and buy things that uh, habitat for humanity and so forth, for uh, less money sometimes we buy stuff that uh, we don't have. I don't have a nail gun that runs these uh, nails. So I'm just taking them out of the sleeve and using a hammer. Mm. <laughs> Well, in just two days, we have all four walls and doors up. Close the door. All that's left is the roof. You do good work, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Back, side. Front side. <laughs> and then. All we have left to do is a lock and a handle. Yeah! Do you guys want to open the door and show? want to show off the uh, farm stand to everyone? <laughs> hey! our mini fridge and this is the same house <laughs> there will be shelves here vegetables there artwork yes artwork and it's like um kind of like a sunroom but kind of not why would it be like a sunroom because there's so much windows yeah let all the light in and we have beautiful artwork at on the, the ceiling. At the end of the June, we will have this opened. Beginning of June. We're opening in a few weeks. Oh, I didn't know beginning of was on. That's good. Right, big nose. The farm stand is done, and I have filled it with all of our creations. Well, some of our creations and today I'm gonna to get it all ready to open. And so I just thought I would bring you along just so you can see the final stages of the magic. <laughs>